Hello and welcome to assignment 5, problem number 6. This is an interesting question because it deals with the goodness of it test. Now again, warning, my numbers will probably differ from yours. So we're asked to first determine the expected count for each of these outcomes. Notice that the random variable here is discrete. It has four possible outcomes. Outcome 1, 2, 3, and 4. The probability of this random variable getting a, being a 1 is 11%, 0.11. The probability of it being a 2 is 0.31. The probability of it being a 3 is 0.18. And the probability of it being a 4 is 0 0.40. Note that this really is a probability distribution because all four of these add up to 1. We're given that we draw 946 from this random variable. That is, we're doing this. Let's pretend, just just to give this a face, it's a four-sided die. It's a weighted four-sided die because the outcomes are not equally likely. So I'm rolling this four-sided die 946 times. That's what n equals 946 means. So the first thing I need to do is determine the expected count for outcome 1. From our book, we know that the expected count for outcome 1 is just the probability of outcome 1 times the number of trials. Now let's see if we can do this in StatCrunch. Again, I'm going to click on this little icon, open in StatCrunch. And now here's the interesting thing about StatCrunch. Sometimes it sets up the problem incorrectly. For instance, in this case, one of the columns is called pi. StatCrunch does not want a column to be called pi because it thinks that when you do multiplication by column pi, you're actually multiplying by 3.1415629, etc. So first thing we're going to do is call it something other than pi. And let's call it prob. Okay, now that second column, the column of probabilities, is now going to be called prob. So to get the expected counts, not just for an outcome of a 1, but for the outcome of any of them, go up to data, compute expression. When you do that, this pops up. And we know that the expected value is always equal to, or for this type of problem, n times p sub i. So it's 946 times this probability, 946 times this probability, etc. So that's just 946 times the prob column. Compute. And now, here we go. We can rename this instead of 946 times prob. We'll just call it expected outcome. We'll just call it exp for expected. So the expected count for outcome 1 is 104.06. 104.06 checks the answer. Expected outcome for outcome 2, or the expected count for outcome 2, 293.26. For outcome 3, 170.28. And for 4, 378.40. And that was it. A little, sil a little simple. So this Friday, I'm not just going to do this problem. I'm going to do another problem for you. But this is a really cool way of using StatCrunch to calculate expected values for uh, categorical variables. And again, notice that if you had left this just as PI, StatCrunch would have gotten confused thinking that it was 3.14. So change the name of it just by clicking on it deleting or backspacing then recalling it something. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if not. I'd be happy to do another one. Take care of yourselves.